Welcome to Church of the Chair, where Rose the Hat is a euphemism for naughty times. I'm your host, E, and today we're sipping on that red rum. If you're new around here, I need to give you a warning. In this series, I will be spoiling all of Stephen King's work, so if you haven't read all of his stuff, I suggest you click away now. You've been warned. Today, we're talking about Dr. Sleep by Stephen King. So how does Dr. Sleep tie into the Stephen King universe and the Dark Tower? Let's get into that. The first thing I'm going to mention is the importance of the number 19. If you're a Dark Tower aficionado, then you know the significance of 19. If you don't, I will be posting a video about all of the links, all the tie-ins, and the importance of the number 19 in a later video, probably sometime this fall, once I am done re redoing all of the Stephen King Theorist videos and the reviews. Why that number is important in this one is because Dick Holleran from The Shining and who is also mentioned in Dr. Sleep died on June 19th, 1999. If you don't know, Stephen King was hit and nearly killed by a van on June 19th, 1999. The line made famous by Jake Chambers in Dark Tower Book 1, The Gunslinger, Go Now, There Are Other Worlds Than These, is mentioned in this book, even though it is shortened to There Are Other Worlds Than These. Dr. Sleep is also the very first mention of the fictional boy band Round Here that was used in Mr. Mercedes. And once again, we are dealing with the theme of consumption with the true knot. In the Stephen King universe, there are two types of vampires. There's the ones that sustain themselves on blood, and there are the psychic vampires that sustain themselves on human emotions. And in this one, he goes a little bit farther by having the true knot feed off of those people with the shine, like Danny and Abra. I will be doing an entire video or video series on this topic, the concept and theme of consumption throughout all of Stephen King's work, and I will be using a lot of notes that my friend Jacob Brennan, Brennan, I'm sorry, I keep saying your name wrong, mentioned in both the Discord and has been mentioning in the comments to back up a comment from a different user that I got some time ago that I've already showcased on the channel. But that's all the time I have for you today. Did I miss anything? Do you have any corrections for anything that I said in this video? Or do you have theories of your own with how Dr. Sleep connects to the Dark Tower and the Stephen King universe? If you do, leave them down there in the comments. But until next time... Uh, uh, are you gonna hurt me? Yes. We are. Oh, hail the chair!